Oh, hey, what's up? How's it going? It's Rob and welcome to Leave Curious. So in today's video, we are gonna be answering the question, will a lynx kill you? But I think the more important question to also address is what's the likelihood of a lynx killing you? And I also wanna give you lots of good information about this awesome creature and its reintroduction to the UK. So stick around, because we're gonna be covering all of that in today's video. The lynx, when compared to a wolf or even the bear, is the most likely land predator to be reintroduced to the UK. A large predator reintroduction is something which requires a lot of research and planning, with comprehensive and official studies being carried out across many areas. And like, what do you really think about it? Like, a, like regarding a lynx reintroduction to the UK, there are a lot of uncertainties. For example, knowing how it may affect meat zoo predators such as foxes or wildcats or how the lynx will impact different deer species. In some cases, we can use existing evidence and make an educated guess at what might happen, but I think in many instances, we just won't know what will happen until we reintroduce the lynx to Scotland and find out. Efforts have been made and are currently being made to understand some of these questions. Landscape research has been carried out, identifying the most suitable areas to reintroduce the lynx. These areas are found within Scotland, with the most suitable area being the Kintyre Peninsula. Given its favourable position to facilitate natural dispersal into the upper regions of Scotland. So yes, with respect to habitat and the physical landscape itself, the study found that a reintroduced lynx population would prosper, it would do well. But when thinking about the lynx reintroduction to the UK, there's more of an issue of how the lynx will interact with people. It's more of a social issue than it is a landscape issue. A social study called the Lynx to Scotland survey is currently being carried out, which is looking at how relevant stakeholders in Scotland feel about a potential lynx reintroduction. The results of this study should be with us by the end of the year. This study is arguably one of the most important steps in successfully reintroducing the lynx to the UK. Now, I don't know for certain what concerns are being raised and by whom, but history tells us that livestock farmers will be most concerned for fear of the lynx predating their sheep. Furthermore, it's likely that the local people who live and go on walks with their dogs may feel unsafe. But also, in these rural areas, there may be many people who want to welcome the lynx with open arms not only for the good that it will do ecologically, but also the money it will bring in through ecotourism. But I think a concern that much of the general public have is, will this thing hurt me? I mean, it's a big cat, isn't it? It's an apex predator with sharp claws and pointy teeth. Well, yeah, it's, it's all of those things. It's got all of those things. I think that there's a lot of misconception when it comes to how apex predators such as a lynx or a wolf interacts with people. In order to get the best idea whether or if a lynx will attack you or indeed kill you, I think we need to understand its ecology and its characteristics. In most regions where the lynx is present, it is typically an apex predator, meaning it has no predators. It can survive in a number of natural habitats, but it is a woodland specialist that hunts by stalking or ambushing its prey. As big cats go, it is relatively small, coming in at around 20 kilograms, standing at a height of 70 centimeters. It is, however, incredibly agile and possesses the ability to jump more than three meters with outstretched claws. Adults are solitary animals. The mother will care for her young for a little over a year. It's known to take a range of prey from small rabbits to much larger red deer, which can often weigh three or four times as much as a lynx. Lynx have also been known to kill unprotected sheep as they're relatively easy for them to kill, but they do predominantly favor smaller and weaker undulates. A lynx's home range can vary massively depending upon the extent and connectivity of suitable habitat. They very rarely venture into heavily built up areas. It is an impressive animal, and one that you should most certainly fear if you're a deer or a rabbit, but should you fear the lynx? Well, the interesting thing that a lot of people say that work with the lynx is that they never actually see them in the wild. They are incredibly elusive and secretive animals. I mean, think about it. How they hunt and get their food relies heavily upon not being seen or heard. So you're probably thinking, great, okay, so when it does come and attack me, I'm not gonna hear it coming. 
Well, naturally, when making a video called Will a Lynx Kill You, I looked for any cases anywhere in the world where a wild lynx had attacked someone. I did not find a single case where a wild lynx has attacked a human, not one. That's not killing a human, that's literally attacking. That's not to say that there might be unreported cases of a lynx which is currently holding a small child hostage in the woods, that may well be happening. But the general consensus is, is that a lynx just won't hurt a person. In 2017, a lynx escaped from a Welsh zoo. I believe it was a Welsh zoo. And there were reports that this animal was fearsome and that it was a danger to people. Now, initially after the escape, the zoo put out a report saying that the animal, the lynx, has never, there's never been any report of a lynx attacking someone, but do not corner the animal if you find it. In other words, have a bit of common sense, remain cautious and do not approach the animal. You know, it's just a responsible thing to say even though that there has never been a recorded attack on a human from a lynx. So I believe the lynx was on the loose for about two or three weeks and it had allegedly killed nine sheep, something like that. Ultimately, the lynx wound up being shot dead. Upon its death, the lynx was approaching a relatively built up area. I think it was like a caravan park or something like that. But at no point did the lynx pose a direct threat to people. Yes, the animal should never have escaped, but shouldn't every effort have been made to recapture it? I mean, if you can point a gun at it and shoot it with a lethal bullet, surely you can just shoot it with a sedation dart or something like that? I don't know how it works, but I've seen it happen. It can happen and arguably it should have happened. If you, if you go back and look at all the news articles and evidence at the time, there are two very clear distinct tones. One is a very logical and fact-based viewpoint that a lynx had ne never attacked a person, uh, but it should not be cornered. And the other is a very reactive and rash and definitive approach to end the lynx's life that was based out of emotion and not fact. Ultimately, in this circumstance, the lynx was shot dead. I'm not saying it was right, I'm not saying it was wrong. I'm just saying that we need to be properly educated. We need to really understand this animal and how it interacts with people. That's why I'm making this video. I wanna provide you with the most accurate information I can, and that information shows me that a lynx is not a people killer. It's not even a people scratcher. You know what, I mean, you're very unlikely to even see a lynx in the wild. Look, let's just say if by chance you happen to come face to face with a lynx in the wild and it's in a vulnerable position. Let's just say that it's got a broken leg, it's got an injured paw and it's got young with it. I would really not recommend, I would not recommend putting any kind of threat on this animal, cornering it, because the chances are it probably will attack you. But you know the likelihood of actually coming across a lynx in this condition, a vulnerable lynx in this condition is just extremely rare. If you're out in the woods where there's wild lynx, the lynx are gonna see you first, they're gonna smell you first, they're gonna hear you first. And I think for one reason or another, man is a pretty terrifying creature to most other creatures on this planet so unless the lynx has been trained and it's comfortable around people that animal is going to run the other way it's not going to be interested in you so does the lynx have the ability to kill you well yeah i would argue that it does but what is the likelihood of a lynx killing you will a lynx kill you in the wild no probably not no <laughs> I would, I would not hesitate to go for a walk in the woods where, where there's links. But please drop a comment down below. Let me know you how you would feel if you came face to face with a lynx or even how you would feel going for a walk in the woods with links. But thank you so much for watching. Leave curious. Oh, and also, I also have a vlog channel which you can follow along with if you're interested. <laughs>